All right, guys, what's up? Welcome back to some more FIFA 18. We're back here with part number 35, I believe. Now, sorry for the delay. I've been sick, and uh, I was kind of busy with some other stuff as well. I uh, started up a new job and everything, so, uh, yeah, I apologize for the delay. I'll try to get back on a kind of a good schedule for uh, these videos now. We're playing Ghent, probably the hardest match in our group, but we already have six points from our first two games. We're, I think, second in the Premier League, so this season has been off to a flying start. It's been unbelievable. We're going to start a weakened team here, though, uh, because um, we have Arsenal in two days' time. Two days after this. So we obviously are not going to be able to play the same team twice. And we're pretty much already guaranteed to go through here. So we might as well start a little bit of a different team here. I'll start Jagielka and I'll start Kieran Clark. And we'll start Yannick Balassi for sure. Um, De La Faye can have a rest. We'll put Sigurdsson in the middle. We'll bring Barkley off. We'll put on Onya Karu. We'll put Vlasic on actually. I'll put Vlasic in the middle. Vlasic done well in the middle a couple of times with four. Uh, we'll put on Calvert-Lewin. We'll leave Giroud on the bench. Um, we'll put on Luckman on the bench. Um, who will we put on there? Luckman on the bench for Barkley. Barkley can have a rest. Put on Davies. We'll put on Rooney. A little bit of a different team here, you know. Um change things up we'll definitely put on luke garbutt and we'll put on tyus browning as well i suppose tyus browning there he is all right looking good now boys looking damn good we'll put connor grant there we'll put um hmm mo bezic on the bench as well i would like to start mo bezic but i want to give wayne rooney a start Hasn't started in a while. So, basically a completely different team. Um, we'll give Stecklenburg a start as well. Screw it. We'll just start change 11 changes. Uh, so, no one's tired for the Arsenal game on, on Saturday. Because we actually have to beat Arsenal on Saturday if we want to keep up our challenge for the title. Um, but, let's see here if we can beat Ghent as well with this weakened team. Everton won last night in real life against Newcastle. On fire at the moment, unbeaten since Big Sam took over. Uh, I, I was negative about the Big Sam appointment, I really was. And I'm still not sure it's the right thing overall going forward. But it, for now, it has stabilized us. It has made us a lot better defensively. Because we were leaking way too many goals. And I don't know how Big Sam is keeping clean Everton, sheets with Holgate and Ashley Williams centre-back pairing. And Martina left-back. Like, what the hell does this man just... I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it was, uh, a Our attack defeat. hasn't been great. Like, it's been kind of boring to watch, uh, honestly. But a few stern words as long as we're not... Uh, we're not losing. We're, we're getting three you. points. Doesn't really matter, I guess. Kieran Clark plays with Phil Jagielka as the centre backs. We'll Come on, Luke. The striking option works with just one up front. Oh, beautiful from Luke Garber. They could pose some danger Yannick now. Balassi. Blasic. Oh my word! And it's a goal. Everton take the lead within five minutes. I might have to put the difficulty up to legendary, you know, guys, because I am just. On fire in FIFA recently. Boom! What a shot from Vlasic to start this whole move off though. The Dominic Calvert-Lewin does his job beautifully. Didn't he get it right Look at this, Vlasic. Boom! Yeah. Inside Putting of the post. The the ball came and Balassi puts it in well, for Calvert-Lewin. Like and Calvert-Lewin finishes it Very hard beautifully. To stop. Nicely done, Calvert-Lewin. Calvert-Lewin has got six uh, stats better. He was 65 in my career mode when I started him. I believe he starts at 70 now. Um, so it would have been nice if we had him started at 70 and he was like 76 now. That would be great. No big deal. Yeah. This man, Yannick Balassi as well, actually had his first minutes in real life for the under-23s. Far post! Oh, it's another beautiful assist from Yannick Balassi. Beautiful goal, lads. We are all over Genk here. This is too easy, eh? Well, it wasn't just about the quality of header. We got, we did get a good, a good draw for the Europa League here, like. How did any of these teams make it into the Europa League? <laughs> we dominated them with like terrible teams. 
But um, yeah, Yannick Bellassi played, I think, 14 or 15 minutes for the under 23s. Uh, um, so he's going to be back now very, very Just soon. Ross Barkley posted Roger an Instagram story saying he's going to be back very soon. And Coleman is meant to be back in January. So things are really looking up for Everton right now. We've won. Uh, we got a point at Anfield, which is insane for us to even get a point there. <laughs> Uh, we, we've won area. all our other games since Big Sam yeah, took over, and we won the final game under David Unsworth there, uh, where Big Sam was in the stands 4-0 against West Ham. And you've seen how well West Ham have done since that game, so um, it's not to be scoffed at. Jesus Christ, our players are falling over each other. Man whipped in from the wide area. That shot's blocked very quickly. Browning. Dude, you know who I love watching play as well as this young man, Vlasic? He's so strong on the ball, he always just gets his body ahead of players and then barrels them out of it. And he nearly, nearly scores there. Good save there, it was a good, good that he caught that because I think it was Belassi coming in quickly there. But I love watching Vlasic play, he's probably one of my favourite players to watch it on Everton right now. Just watching that young man get past people is beautiful. The way he uses his body. Watch this for a goal. Oh, I thought it might be for a second there, but it was a good save. Good save, but they've scored. They've got one back just before half time. So that gives us something to think about there. Got one back just before half time. And that's a shame. 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 Oh, the keeper's a little disgusted with these defenders. A good save first from Stecklenburg, there, but he got the rebound. Save. He shouldn't have got the rebound, possibly. And but whatever. Good to get. Oh, beautiful ball. Henry Onya Carew here. Oh, he puts through. Dominic Calvert Lowe in. Yes! 3 <laughs> 1. Immediately after they score. I don't know how that even happened. Beautiful work from Henry. Nicely done, lads. And we restore our two goal lead pretty much instantly. Look at this. Beautiful work from Henry from the tip off and a beautiful pass. Dominic Calvert Lewin gets that vital touch there. Defender should have done better. Keeper maybe even should have done better. But Dominic Calvert Lewin will not care. He gets his second of the game. And Everton get that turn. So Anya Karu scores one, sets one up. Dominic Calvert-Lewin scores two, and Balassi scored our set up two. <laughs> so everyone here has contributed two in this game. All right, beautifully done, my friends. Okay, we'll make that change. Davy Klassen for Yannick Balassi, sure. We'll make that. Yannick Balassi had a good game. He's getting kind of tired. We'll take him off there. But Yannick Balassi is doing good when I bring him on. Whenever he scores or he makes goals. Or this is very good. We'll make our third and final change soon. We're going to either bring on Giroud or we're going to bring on <clears throat> Mobezic. Oh my word, what a ball. Dominic Calvert-Lewin's in for the hat-trick. And he's got the hat-trick with the cheeky chip. Dominic Calvert-Lewin, baby. <laughs> oh, that's just sensational, isn't it? It really is. Absolutely beautiful. What a ball that was as well. Was that Tom Davies? What a ball that was. Like, that was insanity. Yeah, he's been a danger from the start. Dominic Calvert Lewin, hat trick. Against Gank. Oh, he's through. The shot's up. What the fuck just happened? That was pinball or something. <laughs> oh, that was so retarded. <laughs> just gonna switch things it's funny, around a little bit in this football match. And we... Oh, what a goal! It a goal for them. It's too late for Genk, but what a screamer that was. Good lord. Great goal. 4 2. It was a great match, to be honest. It was. No just Dominic Calvert Lewin was the difference. Goal, Look at this. At least they have kept on going Boom! The just put his yeah, foot through it. Sle Slecklenburg, as that's called. Slecklenburg stand no chance, me. Alright, that's it. 4 1 victory for the Toffees, and they have nine points from a possible nine. This man gets the match ball, and boy, did he deserve it. Dominic Calvert Lewin. Takes the match ball, and Everton take home the three points. 
Wait, I think, uh, yeah, that was Echoes in mind. Alright, good, good stuff though. Great stuff. Dominic Calvert Lewin, 10.0. So, see, they actually had more chances than us. Like, they had more shots and more shots on target, but it was just Dom's clinical finishing there that got us the victory. Let's move on to Arsenal. All right, so we're playing Plymouth in the Carabao Cup on the th in a couple days after this Arsenal match, so we can we can go with a weakened team there again. But we're playing Arsenal here now. It's time to get serious. This is Premier League. We are on top of the Premier League. I just realized we're two points ahead. Why did I think we were level now? We're two points ahead. At the top of the league. Holy shit, I thought we were in second now for some reason, but no. We are leading because we lost to Crystal Palace in our last Premier League match, I'm pretty sure. I thought we'd put, I guess the others didn't win either. Brilliant. All right, so we're going to put Balassi on the bench. He's still a little bit tired, but he's done really well for me. I'll put him ahead of Morales there. Um, Vlasic has done really well when I played him as well, but I'll leave him there for now. Um, we'll put Mo Bezic on here instead of... Davies, we want the bench to be fresh. Yeah, we'll go with that. I think we'll go with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like it. I like it. We got Giroud to come on and score against his former club. We got all sorts of pace, like with De La Feu and Timo Werner. Okay, that's what we're going to go with. Let's do it. Let's go, Blues. Come on. That's a big difference from last season. I was terrible at defending, wasn't I? Best defensive record. This oh, and Gilfie been. Sigurdsson wins it early. He tries to put through Barkley. He does put through Barkley. And Barkley goes for the chip. I shouldn't have gone for the chip. I thought the keeper was coming out really fast there. We should be 1-0 up already, lads. Easy for me now. That was a terrible corner, by the way. No, it wasn't. It was a fucking beautiful corner. And Timo Werner puts Everton into the lead at Goodison within five minutes. Lads, I swear I'm getting too good at FIFA on World Class. I have to put it up to Legendary soon. We're winning so easily now in World Class. Oh, what, a great kill. what a ball from Sigurdsson. What a header from Werner. Front post. Boom. The goal, wherever you look and at it, top of it the table is looking well good, taken. baby. So let me know in the comments if you think I should put it on Legendary or leave it on World Class. Um, we'll probably do a couple more games on World Class just see. If, it, if I keep winning too easily, Sanchez. like it's not much of a challenge, then we'll probably put it up to Legendary and see how that goes for a Lacazette. few games. Um, but for now, Werner could be through here. Werner is through. Oh, the keeper comes out. Ospina comes out too quickly for Werner. He could have had a second. Lacazette. That's the luckiest goal I've ever seen. That's the luckiest goal I've ever seen. Cockle. That literally just smashed into him. He wasn't even trying to score this at all. Look at this. That just hit him. Lacazette shot and it just hit him. That wasn't going in ever. That's It just hit him in the chest and goes in. That's bullshit. <laughs> Fuck, man. Come on. <laughs> Two goals. And that's the luckiest players. thing I've seen in my life. So, oh, Jesus. What a goal. What a fucking goal from Lacazette. Oh, my word. Okay. I wasn't expecting that, I'll be honest. <laughs> look at this. Terrible defending there, but look at this finish. Where is everyone? Just beautiful finish. He had all the time in the world for it, but still. Astonishing finish, and we are behind now. Not good, guys. Not good at all. Werner has a goal from range. That's good defending. Oh! Penalty! Yeah, blatant penalty. Werner went for the shot, he got his body across, and it was a blatant foul. Who is this young man? It's a red card? He's not even booking him. That was a shocker, mate. How's he not booking him? Look at that. Oh. He kind of just tripped into him, really, did he? And now. 
Gilfie Sigurdsson. Should Baines not be taking it? Baines should be taking it. Baines is 89 at penalties. Yeah, yeah. We'll have Baines take this one. Baines, he bury it, lad. Yeah! Baines brings it back level. And it's 2-2 with Goodison. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Still in the hunt. We'll stay top at least if we draw, probably. Yeah, he's a man you can depend on in these situations. Oh, yeah, he is. Slayton Baines is a man you can depend on always. Two teams brilliantly matched. Well done. Well done, Toffees. No, that's a run. I didn't even mean to do that. I meant to press square about this challenge. to clear the ball because I thought I was still going to have it. But yeah, that's a straight well, red, actually. Sometimes question the judgment of players in these situations. I thought I'd still have the ball, you see. I actually did get the ball there, but it was still a horrible chance on right through him to get the ball. And now we're in trouble, guys. We're in big, big trouble. We have no right back, unfortunately. At least it's not a centre back, but still... Not ideal, is it? Lacazette got in the way. It's good play until they got that challenge in. Zaha. Oh no 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 no! Oh my God! I thought just after losing our man, we were gonna go down to three-two. Okay, what we're gonna do here, actually, lads, is we're gonna we're gonna bring off Schneiderlin, and we're gonna bring on Jagielka, and we're gonna have Jagielka there. Okay, we're going to bring on Giroud. Bit of hold-up play might be nice. Um, because I take the draw now with 10 men here. We'll lose out in a central defensive midfielder. That's okay. Or should we? Should we lose out on a central defensive midfielder? Or should we lose out in a winger or something? Mo Bezic. Yeah, yeah, We'll miss out on our left winger. Fuck it. I don't care. We'll go with that. Because we still want to be defensively strong here. Mo Bezic can come on and Quite hopefully on hold on right, here. Jagielka and Mo Bezic. Gonna come on to try and hold on to this point, guys. We'll see if that was the right decision. If we come out of here with the win, I will be incredibly surprised. Gilfie Sigurdsson! He's got it! Yes! Gilfie Sigurdsson, you're a legend. And uh, 10 men Everton take the lead. Oh, yes. What a finish, Gilfie Sigurdsson, on your bad foot. With 11 and that two, is sensational. Everton lead at Goodison. And we only have Arsenal goddamn 17 more minutes to hold on. Let's go. Chambers. <laughs> Beautiful, lads. <laughs> Kyle Walker gets sent off and Everton take the lead through Gilfie Sigurdsson. Oh, what a save from Jordan Pickford. Well done, lad. Well done. Why have both these games been so entertaining in this part? Jesus Christ. 3-2 and 4-2. And this one might have another twist yet to come in the tail. What a save from Jordan Pickford there to keep this game alive for Everton. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. What a block. What a save. And Everton are holding on by the... Oh, God. This is unbelievable. No, the didn't that. Okay, we're good. What a win. And we will go even more clear at the top of the table. 10-man Everton hold on to beat Arsenal. Well, we actually scored the winner when we had 10 men. Gilfie Sigurdsson, and then we held on beautifully for the last 20 or so minutes. Baines scores a penalty. Werner opened the scoring. And then Gilfie Sigurdsson got the winner. And Everton have won here once again. And that was... Uh, they had more possession than us. <laughs> See, the, the games are pretty even. I'm just winning. I'm just being clinical for once. And we're just winning the games. Like, they are, they are even. But, you know, I'm just, I'm just better now. I'm just better at the game now. 
Better at taking Leicester my chances. Two, I might try this Bristol Plymouth Palace game on Legendary, one. though, for the absolute Manchester banter. City what do you guys one. think? That's Manchester where we're going to end this part. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. If you Newcastle did, United make nil. sure to Leicester drop a like. Two. I would appreciate that immensely. And for now, we're going to end it here. Two. We're going to simulate these Top guys Leicester training one. here. We want to get Vazage better. We want to get Garbett better. And we're going to go and... Oh, God. Vazage seems to be doing struggling in training for some reason. But yeah, that's where we're going to end it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys for more FIFA 18 content very, very soon. Peace out.